What's up guys, welcome back to my channel. In today's video, we are making a really special light and summery dessert. We are making an Irish fruit flan. If you liked today's video, don't forget to give it a big thumbs up and also please don't forget to hit subscribe so that you don't miss any more of my baking content. Now let's get into the recipe. You will need 95 grams of plain all-purpose flour, five grams of baking powder, five grams of salt, 95 grams of caster sugar and three large free range eggs. Now flans are traditionally made in a special flan tin. You can actually go online and you can see that they are perfectly shaped for flan making. But honestly, you can completely get away with any dish you have yourself at home. So this tin I'm using today is sort of a large flan slash sponge tin and it does the trick perfectly. So I'm going to start off and grease my tin really well. It would be a nightmare if this sticks. So make sure you get into every part of your tin. I'm going to sift my sugar into a clean mixing bowl and crack in the three eggs. If you're somebody that tends to get a lot of eggshell when you break eggs, do them in a separate bowl and it's easier to just pull out any little bits of eggshell that end up in your mixture. And taking a hand whisk, I'm going to beat the eggs and sugar together until it is nice and fluffy and foamy. At this point, we want to incorporate as much air into the mixture as possible. At this point, we can sift in our flour, baking powder and our salt. And instead of using the whisk, I'm going to take a spatula and gently fold in the mixture. This is a great way to make sure that you don't knock all of that lovely air that you've created out of the mixture. And guys, you won't believe it, we're almost there. This recipe really is that simple. Once everything is nicely combined and nicely folded in, I'm going to pour the mixture directly into my flan tin. Feel free to line the bottom of your tin with a little bit of baking parchment if you're not 100% confident that your tin is non-stick. We're going to bake this in the oven at 180 degrees Celsius in a fan oven for 15 to 20 minutes, depending on your oven. And when you think that it might be done and the sponge is starting to pull away from the sides of the tin and you have that nice spongy top, you can take a metal skewer, insert it into the center of the sponge. And if that metal skewer comes out clean, you know your sponge is ready to be cooled. Just look how lovely and golden brown that is. And it smells absolutely delicious. Turn your sponge out of the tin onto a wire rack and allow it to cool completely. Once your sponge has cooled for about an hour, it is time to whip up that double cream and get your fruit ready for the top. You can use any fruit you like on this. It's really common to use tinned peaches, tinned mandarins. The choice is yours. Turning the sponge onto a clean plate or whatever serving dish that you're using, I'm going to go ahead and lather it high with lashings of double cream. And then I am going to garnish with those lovely fresh strawberries and blueberries. Finishing it off with some fresh sprigs of mint. And that is it guys, your Irish fruit flan is ready to enjoy. This is best eaten on the day of baking. It's a very light and delicate sponge and it will be gone off the table within seconds. Sometimes keeping it simple is the best way to go. Guys, if you like this video, please don't forget to give it a big thumbs up and also don't forget to hit subscribe. Let me know in the comment section down below if you made this bake and if it was a hit with your family. Thank you so much for watching. I'm really looking forward to seeing you back on my channel very soon. Bye.